been a week that they've been at the forefront of the news. Every rehearsal has been disrupted by the, the press and the members of the media. I was just, I mean, I was so annoyed that the press, that man, that man was quite prepared to prejudice the performance for a photograph. Of course, when you're building up the competition, it's like an FA Cup final, isn't it? You get through to the finals and you're all on edge, sort of thing. And like Kurt Malk says, you know, to with publicity and whatever, and what's involved in goal mind, we've, uh, we've had a bit of a stressful time, I think. I got an attack around Jane and I, I, I reached in my pocket and I thought, well, if, if I take one of my alpha drive, I won't be able to play, so I just kept going. If I was going to die, I'm going to die at stage. <laughs>
pressure on the brass band in this situation here is always enormous and especially if you are one of the fancied bands. But for them to play to that stand, I mean, I'm emotionally very uh, over the top, I'm afraid. For them to play to that standard with that kind of pressure is really incredible.
the band uh, up in the right up in the gods, but uh, it was worth it. So we're all elated, you can see. What you hope is some major sponsors out there watching this. Well, if there's some major sponsors out there and you've seen what we've done there, that's what the package is. Get your money out. <laughs> I've been in contact with many of the composers that have worked with us. Sir Harrison Bertrassel, Sir Michael Tippett, Sir Peter Maxwell Davis, Hans Werner Hensers, wrote immediately, he faxed me actually, from, from Rome, from his home. Immediately, I mean within five minutes of him getting the fax. And a very, very emotional um, letter. Um, I'm, I'm waiting, I've spoken to Georges Ligget on the, on the telephone. And it, I mean, people are completely astounded that this, this particular band of all that has done so much to revive interest in, in brass bands, in, in them as um, a cultural medium, something which composers can take seriously and can write really serious music for, and have it performed to, you know, brilliant standard performance. They're completely flabbergasted that there should ever be any question of their existence. <laughs> I would certainly like those bands to know that uh, all of us are boozing hawks, and I'm sure I say this on behalf of everyone here, all of us uh, are thinking of them and extend our special thoughts and sympathy to them at this time. Champion Band of Great Britain receiving a cheque for £2,000, the Boozy and Hawks National Plaque and the National Challenge Trophy with 99 points out of 100, the band that played number 17... <laughs> Hey, <laughs> 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 